I've got this Alex model file cabinet from Ikea. I'm going to do an unboxing on it and uh, set up. Okay, here's everything that came in the box. Two big sides with the rails on it. Some thinner pieces. There, some drawer pieces. This is going to be the fronts of the drawers, the backs of the drawers, some of the sides, and the rail system. And bag of parts there. So here we've got a couple of rods, some drawers there, some rails there. I said drawers, that's rails. That's going to be the big opener at the bottom, some of the side pieces. Here's the uh, hardware inventory. Should have everything that's listed here in the box. Quick look at that. This should be in the parts bag that came along with it. Okay, here's step one. I'm gonna grab this piece. Put this in there. Here's the first piece that we're working with for step number one. So there's two sides that are identical, nearly. And then, uh, so that piece I'm just standing up. This is the first one we're gonna work to. And the difference here is the arrows are pointing that way towards the big hole. Okay, now that you've got the correct side of the panel that we're using, this part can be confusing based on the directions, but what you want to do is it's actually going to get installed here. So the big hole, this big hole here is going to line up with that hole. And you can see down in there that it's going to come down through there. Now once we get... Once we get that fastener screwed in there, down through both of those, that'll secure this in and it'll allow this to slide out. And once that slides out, then we're gonna put a fastener in right there. See, that'll allow the drawer to pull out and pull back. All right, it tells you to use part number 110853 and that's what these look like. That right there is this they're little guys and that's what's going to go down through here and down through that hole so I just got that started so you can see and that way it'll open up this one to do that one and get this one secured all the way first you want to over tighten these it'll snap them and it can break your wood your particle board but you're supposed to have a little bit of hangover just like this. And we can slide this one to the side, and put one in right there. Okay, now the next one they say to use, so we're on step two now. We're gonna put all these in here. This is 112996, and that's these ones here. There. And we're going to put them all around here, which means we're going to put them all in these holes here. But not all of them, I'll show you. So we're going to go, we're going to start in this upper corner here. We're going to put one here. And then we're going to put one here. And then we're going to put one here. Put one here in this corner, like that. I'll lay them all out here and show you. Okay, the next part of step two also is putting these wood dowels in, which are right here. They're gonna go on that ledge right there, this way. And then this third part of step two here, we're gonna use this 102, 372, these two, which go right there. Okay, this kind of shows you where they're gonna go. Boom, 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 boom. There, there, two wood dowels there, and those two things there in the ends. We got those ones in so far. Just getting this in here. Okay, we've got all those in, those fasteners in. I'll just go ahead and pop these babies in here. Give them a little tap. these in here ok 
Okay, this is step number three. We're gonna get this piece with the six holes in it. It's gonna get four of these, two on each side, just like this. Okay, step three is done. Got the four wooden dowels in there. All right, here's step four. So this is the piece we just put the wooden dowels in in step three, and this is the piece we assembled in step one and two. This is just gonna set right down on there. And the wooden dowels are gonna pop into there. And these screws here go up into the side of this. And the holes here are gonna face in. See the back side smooth, that's what you want. It's gonna be facing out. So this is just gonna set down right on here. Okay, that was step four. We're gonna move on to step five. We're gonna go in and pop these fasteners in here, into the holes, into here. And that's gonna, what that does is it latches onto these and turns, that way it secures them. I'll show you, it's gonna go right in there. This is a 102-509 for the directions and they're just gonna go in just like that when you put these in, you want that part facing down because we're going to be putting it in and securing, securing that head right there and then turning it so it can't move. This part facing down, that arrow up. If you get it in there right, it should pop in like that. And then with each one, just take and give it a little turn, not too much, because you'll rip it out of there. Take and give it a little, just till it's barely snug. That's it right there. We'll do the same thing with this one and that one. Okay, that was step five. We got all three of those in there. Right along there. Now step six, we're gonna grab this other piece, kind of do the same thing. We're gonna put four wooden dowels in there. There we go. We're already on step six. We're going to put two of, two of these on this side and two on the other side. All right, step six is done. All that was step six was these four wooden dowels there. One, two, three. Okay, moving on to step seven here. So we're going to grab our piece we were just working on before step six. We're going to slap this right here onto the piece we just fixtured up. Okay, so this thing is just going to go, see there's our piece, same orientation that we had it, and then holes are going to go out on this one. See how that's going to line up? This one, two, three, and then one, two, that's going to go in here and here. These things are going to go up into those holes. I'm going to fasten them just like we did with the other stuff. That's where we're at so far. Now we're gonna go ahead and put those same same fasteners like we did here. Those we're gonna put them out here along the bottom. And that's these ones here. Hey, it's also a good idea to segregate all your parts, it makes it go quicker. So these are the ones we're gonna grab here. Three of these. We're gonna go ahead and pop them in here that new shape goes down Oop, that's the wrong one Looks like. all right don't make the mistake I just did so there's actually two piles I grabbed from the wrong piles these ones here you can see are too small I grabbed those ones these are the ones we want to use and there's a nice tight fit on there so I got to go fish that one out of there but these should match right up with the, the holes you know you got it wrong if you got a gap in there all right, if you make that same same mistake on accident there and put the little one in there, just flip the thing over and it'll fall right out. As long as you didn't twist it. If you did twist it, get it back aligned like that and then just turn it upside down and that thing will pop out. Now we'll go ahead and put in the, the right ones here. U-shape down, just pop right in there. 
Okay, we got all three in there. I'll just take and give it a little bit of a turn. Just enough to secure it. That's it right there. What that does too is it sucks that board down to the base there. And that was that was step eight, putting those three in. Now moving on to step nine. So we're gonna basically do the same thing on this side right there as we did with this one. So you're gonna take the, the other one that looks just like this and lay it flat on its back. So we've got that, we're gonna install the rail again. Okay, here's the step nine setup. And then, so now we're looking at this one, the three holes on top of the three rails, the arrow's pointing that way in this configuration. This is kind of the opposite of what we did last time, just the opposite direction, but same exact thing. We're gonna use these little pieces go in those holes. We're going to do the first one right down through there. Get that lined up. Pop a, pop a fastener in there. You're going to get a little hangover right there. Again, the same thing. This should look like a repeat, but just kind of the opposite direction. Okay, step 10 is going to be the same thing. We're going to put these things in just like the other side. And I'll show you once I got them in. I'm not going to go through this one step by step because it's the same thing as before. I'll show you once I put those fasteners in there, these two plastic pieces on the end, and the two wooden dowels on the end there. All right, so as you can see, we've got all these in the correct places here, here, there, and there. And you got the wooden dowels. In that side kind of hard to see with the carpet there but got two in over there and then got the plastic pieces in here too so that was step 10 now we're gonna put this together so it looks like that so we're gonna take this piece here that we just did and we're gonna connect it to this over here okay so this is just gonna go sandwiched just like that you can see the rails need to match up that's for your bottom drawer That just pops in there like that and that was step 11 so now as you can imagine we got to go through and fasten it all together for step 12 so we're going to take these and do the same thing all the spots where there's a hole just put those fasteners in just kind of a different look at it we'll go ahead and start on the bottom so we're just going to make this top here look just like the bottom there these things see where your fasteners at now in this case the U is going to go up because the fastener is that way. Pop that in there. Do the same thing. Give them a little twist. Here's our three. A little turn. Oh, that was almost too tight. Be careful when you're using a cordless. You don't want to crank these down too much. There we go. That side. Now we're going to do nothing over here, but we do have these ones to worry about on the inside. So if you're looking at it this way, I'll flip this thing up so you can see it better. Now I'll flip that thing up so the rails are perpendicular to the floor. We're going to put these fasteners, one, two, three. That way it looks just like this side. big ones Two nine nine six pieces, six of them, 
just like that. Six of these. We're gonna start right here. We're gonna put them, see there's a bigger hole and a smaller one. It's gonna go in the smaller one. Then in the middle one, skip the big one and the small one. Okay, that was step number 13. You can see we got six fasteners in there. That was 13. 14, we're just gonna go ahead and add that to the assembly. It's just gonna go right on here. See, that's the end piece there. This is just gonna go right in here. Okay, it was actually the top of the, the cabinet there. Now, of course, as you can imagine, we gotta go in and put three fasteners on each side. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna video that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Same as the other ones. And then this should be your last six of these uh, larger diameter ones. The other ones are for the drawers. All right, that was step 15. We put the fasteners in there. And that's what it looks like so far. The fasteners are all in there. One, two, three. One, two, three down that side. Now it's time to start working on the drawers. We're gonna set this aside for a second. Step 16. Okay, here's where we're gonna put these fasteners for step 16. And this is piece 112996. That's what those fasteners are. They're gonna go not in the big one here. They're gonna go in these little ones there, right there. Okay, there's step 16. Fasteners all in there. Now we're gonna move on to step 17, which is just putting these side rails on it there. Put the wooden dowels. And that is these pieces there. Okay, now with these drawers, so this piece here, the finished piece is gonna go on the outside. This piece here with the grooves in it and the, the wood showing there without the, without the coating, is gonna go on the inside. But you can imagine the way this seam lines up with this seam here. So we need to put a wooden dowel in the end of it here. That way it can go right in there. So we'll grab one of those. You can put it in either end. You can put it here. We'll just go that way. And then this just pops on just like that. There we go. We're gonna do the same thing with all three of these. Now, that was step 17. Got those on there. Now we have to put our fasteners in there. And now is where we use the smaller diameter fasteners right over here. We're gonna put one of those in each one of these holes. Pop right in there. Give it a little turn. And lock it in. There we go, and I just gave them a little twist. Locked it in. Do the same thing on the other side. That was step 18. See three of them? three of them. Okay, now for step 19, we're just going to slide the uh, the boards in there, three of them. It's going to fit right down in this slot. I'm going to come in from the top here. Okay, these boards you can see are kind of notched out right there. These two are not. So on all three of these, the notched part is going to go down towards the drawer. Just like that. See the notch? It's going to sit down in there like Slide them down in the, in the groove there. Put the boards in there. They almost kind of snap in at the bottom. Okay, so that was step 19, what we just did. Now we're going to move on to 20. We're just going to put the end pieces on there and secure them in with those plastic pieces right there. That's what that's showing. That's 110. 519 that's what those are and they're gonna get four each that's why you have so many two on each side and the pieces that go on are these pieces right here just follow the groove right there it's gonna pop right in there so these are the pieces that are gonna go in there we're just gonna pop them in just like that you're gonna get a hammer and just knock them in what it looks like the same thing with all three okay we've got our drawers built that was step 20 now we're going to go ahead and go into 21 okay step 22 we're going to put the drawers in the cabinet and it's going to take 105021 
which are these pieces right here. So what you want to do, is we're going to go ahead and pull out the drawer there. So now we just pulled the rails out and then slid the, the drawer in over that. And you can see the holes line up perfectly there. sticks in there pretty good even without being fastened but now we're going to go ahead and put our fasteners in. Okay, here's a little bit better of a look at it and there's one fastener that goes in on each side and it's right there. Okay make sure this is crucial too. Make sure you don't put that screw in on this side. The screws go right here on the inside because if you do if you were to put it in here it won't, it won't close all the way it'll hang out. Right here. There's our fasteners there. And there, we're gonna do the same thing. With the other drawers. Okay, now we're gonna build that bottom drawer. This seems to work nice. Okay, there's step 23. We're gonna put four wooden dowels in this thing, two on each side. The one with the two holes in there, just like that. Okay, that was step 23. Okay, next is step 24. We're gonna, that's this piece here. I'm gonna put two wooden dowels on each end. Okay, you wanna make sure you get it in the right holes there. So here's the line, that's your reference point. You don't wanna put it in the first, put it in the second there, and then put it in the very last one there. Now step 25 is gonna involve these pieces there. All right, and then this piece that we just put the dowels in and then that piece. All right, so with this, the line there, you wanna line this one up with this and the wood showing in. And we're gonna snap these together with the wooden dowels there, just like that. There's that one and same thing with this side. Now we'll take and put this one right here. It's gonna go in there and here. Now with these two holes on the bottom of this, they're gonna face out. That's what it looks like. We don't have any fasteners in there yet. It's just held together by the wooden dowels at this point. Make sure you got this side out. Okay, now we're on step 26. That was 25 that we just did. 26, we're gonna take four of these plastic fasteners just like that and pop them in there right on the bottom there, see that? And they're gonna go over there, pop those in with a hammer. And that's how those look fully inserted. We did the same thing on this side, right there. There's step 27, we're just gonna put the bottom piece in there. Put that in the slot. That was 27, here goes 28. Now we're just gonna take this other piece here, that's gonna be the front end of the drawer, just like this. Okay, there we go, that's where our fasteners are gonna go now. Step 28. Now we're going to take that piece we just worked on and we're going to put some wooden dowels in there for step 29. It's going to go like that. There's our wooden dowels. Wooden dowels in there. Now we can just take this piece, put our fasteners in it. Imagine we're going to put our fasteners in on the side here to lock those heads in because that is step 30 that we're working on right now. That U shape goes up towards the fastener, pop it in. fasteners in securing it on the sides okay next for step 31 we're going to put the wheel on the bottom it's going to help support that drawer. here's the pieces that we're using there's the wheel and the screw it's going to go like we mentioned before right in that piece
Okay, we got that in. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put the drawer in just like we did the other three, except for the bottom. The screws, don't forget the screws go in on the inside, just like that, just like the other one. Okay, we went ahead and screwed this bottom one. Screwed the bottom one in right here, right there. was step 33 now we're gonna go ahead and do step 34 we're on the last page these are gonna go in right over the top right over that just like this all right with the holes up it's just gonna snap in over the side that way. just like that yep okay we've got these gray pieces on here on both sides now we're gonna take and take those two metal rods and run them through the top pieces. All right, next step is just to put these four bumpers on there, which are right here. And they go in each corner, that's to hold your desk. All right, there it is. If you're lucky like me, you get to do this again. Do two of them. One thing, guys, we got that first one all assembled, but went to work on the second one, and we found that, uh, hopefully this doesn't happen to you, but you see how these drawers are supposed to have holes in them? Well, this one does not. That's the front, that's the back. The back's supposed to have them in there. So either we drill them or take the darn thing back. 